So from week five, I think that's when we had the origin of night and day, the minnow mini tail. So that's the minnow mini tail. That's the genre. So this is mythology. And it's also a tail. A tail means animals are involved in the story and they can talk and act like people. Mythology explains how uh, natural things occurred. So this is explaining night and day in a, in a tail kind of format, the animals speaking to each other. I'm going to leave cra craft and structure uh, by itself. I'm not going to answer that because one of the questions is about craft and structures, structure. So <clears throat> reading through the text is one thing. That's called fluency, being able to get through that with few mistakes. The second thing is comprehension. And for comprehension, we're using the constructed response model, where the first thing you do is you turn the question into a statement and answer the question. The second thing you do is you highlight the text where your answer was found. It's called citing the text. So we're going to take a highlighter and highlight the text where we found that. So let me get my highlighter out. Boom. There's my highlighter. And the third part is adding a personal response. That, that's how we conclude it. That's how you know the person is done answering that question is they give you a personal response to that question called the conclusion. There's also uh, a conclusion to this sentence. So conclusion means something that ends. So at the end of this text, they don't say the end. They just conclude it by telling us how things had changed between rabbit and owl. So in our constructive response, we've already read this once or twice or three times. We want to read the questions through. So let's go ahead and read the questions. Why did rabbit want it to be daylight? Why did the rabbit want it to be daylight? Where and what time of day did rabbit and owl meet? Okay, so this is the setting of the story. So when they meet, there's a particular place and time where they met at the beginning of the story. What does the word perched on a twig mean? If you're perched on a twig, what does that mean? What kind of craft structure did the author use? That's why I didn't fill this in here. I want you to tell me, if you can remember, something about the craft and structure of the story. Number five, the setting changed from the introduction. Oh, so this setting's gonna change from number two, it's not the same. Where did they start the contest? Okay, so where did this contest start? They actually start the contest in a place other than where Owl and Rabbit met. Number six, how did Rabbit change from the beginning of the tale to the conclusion? So Rabbit changed somehow. Can we explain that? This one's kind of a, this one's kind of a hard one. So this one would be difficult. And I'm gonna help you with that one. Um, and I'm going to do number two also. So I'm going to do number two, and I'm going to do number six, following the constructed response. Okay, and then the rest of them you can answer on your own. So where, where, and what time did Rabbit? and owl meet. This is the setting of the story. So that's usually at the beginning of the story. So I'm going to read through the story. I'm going to see if it can tell me a little bit about where, at what time and where they met. <clears throat> One time, Manabush, a rabbit, was traveling through a forest. He came to a clearing on the bank of the river. There he noticed Sawway Owl, who was perched on a twig. Wow. There's several answers to some of the questions here. So he came up, came to a clearing on the bank of a river. So that's where he is. There he noticed Sawway Owl who was perched on a twig. That is not part of the setting. That answers another question, but not part of the setting. It was almost dark, and Rabbit could barely see, could hardly see. So this kind of gives me an idea of the time. 
And this gives me the idea of where they're at. So number two, I'm going to change. First thing, turn the question into a statement. What, where and what time of day did Rabbit and Al meet? Rabbit and Al met So I had to change this vowel a little bit from meet to met. <coughs> and I'm just going to take my some of the words from the sentence that I get from the text and some of the words that I get from my question. He came to a clearing on the bank of the river. Met on the bank of the river. It was almost dark, and Rabbit could hardly see. River. It was almost dark. That's my time. So actually, I had to break this up into two sentences, because I had a where and a what time. So I highlight the text. I just did that. Highlighting the text of where you find the answer is almost natural because you read the question, you look in the text, ah, here's the answer. It makes it nice and clear where I can find it. Now I have to add a personal response. I like the night sky. when it's deep blue. That's my favorite time of day is when the sky is deep blue, the stars haven't come out yet, but it's still light outside. For some reason that time feels magical. Okay, so I want you to copy this. Copy number two. Highlight the text where I found the answer. And here's something about perched on a twig. So that's number three. You can kind of get an idea of where we're going to find the answer to that. And hopefully you defined perched at the bottom here if you had difficulty with it when you were reading the story. That is done. Rabbit, oh, I forgot my D here. So I'm reading it a second time to see if I got everything correct and I forgot to spell and. Rabbit and Al went on the bank of the river, met on the bank of the river. It was almost dark. I like the night, I like the night sky when it's deep blue. I could add something here, just when the sun, just after the sun set. Deep blue, just after. The sun sets. All right, so I corrected my sentence. I added parts to it that just came to my mind. And um, you can do the same thing too. You can work with this a little bit. So I think I found the setting at the beginning of the story. Now number five, the setting changes. So you might have to, in number five, find out where the setting changes when they start having the contest. <clears throat> Let's look at number six. I'm going to help answer number six in the same way using the constructive response model. How did Rabbit change from the beginning of the tale to the conclusion? Well, <clears throat> you, I would have had to read the whole story to get to the conclusion to find out how he changed. And... I'm going to make daylight. Owl with it rabbit. He said, if you think you're so strong enough, then do it. But let us have a contest. So they got all their friends together and had this contest, and rabbit won. But in the end, he figured it would benefit the loser if all the animals um, 
all the animals who had cheered him on. His decision pleased everyone. The rabbit rabbit decided it would be light. Being a good fellow, though, he decided that night should have a chance, too. This would benefit the loser and all of the animals who cheered him on. Okay. So he kind of changed from being like a tough guy here, if a rabbit can be tough, to kind of like, you know, compromising here. Saying, hey, let's... Let's, let's do it half and half, just like when someone has a candy bar or a piece of gum, and you say, hey, give me some of that gum. And they open up the wrapper, and they chew out half the gum, and they say, here, here's half the gum. Or someone splits their meal with you, they give you half of the meal. So that's kind of how Rabbit changed. How did Rabbit change from the beginning of the tale to the conclusion? Rabbit... I'm going to say, I'm going to reword this. I'm going to say, in the beginning, Rabbit was tough and wanted a contest. But, oh, but when he won, he was fair and gave half the night to Owl. I didn't get much to do here, so I'm going to say, I share with my friends. I share with my friends too. They shared the day and night. I share with my friends too. So what haven't I done? Let's see up here. Turn the question into a statement. In the beginning, Rabbit was, uh-huh. But when he won, okay, he, okay. So I didn't use the word conclusion, but him winning happened at the end. So I, th I think I did pretty good with number one. I could have done a little bit better, maybe. Two, highlight the text. Oh, that's what I forgot. I forgot to highlight the text. Okay, Rabbit decided that it should be light. Okay, but being a good fellow, though, he decided that night should have a chance, too. This would benefit the loser and all the animals who had cheered him on. So he decided to be fair and give them the part of, so the night would be split in half. His decision pleased everyone. Okay, he's, just, he's out there to please everyone. He's not challenging so much. He's not being selfish. He's thinking of other people. How, this is how it came to be that there was day and there was night. So look at questions one three, four, and five, and see if you can answer them in the same way. Don't be like Mr. Budinger and forget to highlight the text. Make sure you have a highlighter and highlight the text. Fill in the answers and then turn this in um, on Friday. Good luck with that.